Stunning Pluto images show something unusual going on there. The date was the 24th of August, 2006. The space industry was hit with devastating news, possibly the worst of the last decade. On this fateful day, the International Astronomy Union sat for a meeting and decided that our little friend in the Kuiper Belt Pluto would no longer be regarded as a planet. The announcement shook the entire world of astronomy to its roots. But a few years down the line, new images captured by NASA robotic explorers have revealed something unusual occurring on the icy world. But what exactly is happening on Pluto? When did it start? And is this cute ball of ice about to become a planet again? Let's find out together. History of Pluto On February 18, 1930, British-American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto using a blink comparator machine at the Lowell Observatory. Having made the first major discovery of his astronomy career, Tombaugh alongside the entire workforce of the observatory would embark on a relentless journey to unravel all of the mysteries around the planet. After gathering enough data about their new find, it was time to calculate the exact orbit of the object in a bid to confirm if it was indeed a planet. But since none of the staff at the observatory knew how to do this, they decided to outsource this task to a number of their colleagues. After several attempts, scientists could exactly work out the correct answer. However, they felt they had gathered enough evidence that confirms its planetary status. So, on March 13, 1930, they made the big announcement. This was a special day because it would have been the 75th birthday of Percival Lowell, the man who inspired the discovery of the planet. But more importantly, it was the day that a ninth planet was officially added to our solar system. Named after the Roman god of the underworld by 11-year-old Venetia Burney Fair, Pluto is a complex and mysterious world. It contains odd and fascinating elements like plains, mountains, valleys, craters, and maybe even glaciers. Pluto is surrounded by five known moons called Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. It is located beyond the orbit of Neptune in a region known as the Kuiper Belt. More interestingly, Pluto has a weird shape and orbit compared to other planets. It is shaped like an oval, and its orbit is both elliptical and tilted. A single day on this tiny planet is equivalent to 153 Earth hours, and its axis of rotation is tilted against the plane of its orbit at an angle of 57 degrees. This means Pluto literally spins on its side. In addition, it's one of the three planets in our solar system that has a retrograde rotation, which means it spins from east to west. According to NASA's fact sheet, this amazing planet has a radius of 715 miles and a diameter of 1,400 miles wide, which is about half the width of the United States. Furthermore, Pluto sits about 3.6 billion miles away from the Sun, which means its temperature is extremely low. For the records, the average temperature on Pluto is around minus 232 degrees Celsius, which ordinarily should be too cold to sustain life as we've come to know it here on Earth. However, recent discoveries suggest otherwise. We'll take a closer look at this interesting claim as we proceed with this video. How Pluto was demoted. Since its discovery, we've always known Pluto to be a planet. But that changed in 2006 when the International Astronomy Union decided it would no longer be classified as a planet. The reason behind this decision was that Pluto did not meet all of the requirements for an object to qualify as a planet. Usually, before a celestial object is identified as a planet, it must check three boxes. First, the said object must orbit the Sun. Secondly, it must have the right amount of mass to assume a nearly round shape. And, lastly, it must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto clearly orbits the Sun. It has a nearly round shape, but unfortunately, it is not gravitational dominant enough to clear the neighborhood around its orbit. And that's why it was demoted to become a dwarf planet. Unusual discovery made on Pluto. For obvious reasons, astronomers still harbored a special type of likeness for Pluto even after it was demoted. So it was always a matter of time before we explored it. After traveling through the depths and emptiness of space for nine years, the New Horizons spacecraft encountered Pluto on July 15, 2015, becoming the first ever spacecraft to do so. From that moment on, this super-advanced space probe began a reconnaissance mission to explore the nooks and crannies of the planet. New Horizons zoomed its lens through the thin atmosphere of Pluto and beyond, capturing some of the most incredible photographs ever shot in our entire solar system. And several years down the line, we're still in awe of these pictures and the stunning discoveries they reveal. 
One of the most exquisite discoveries made on the planet includes the bumpy volcanoes that come in different heights and sizes. After carefully observing the images, scientists were stunned to find that the planet does not have any impact craters from asteroids or meteorites like other planets do. Also, unlike our Earth, Pluto does not have any evidence of plate tectonics. These factors suggest that the surface of the planet was formed after the geologic disturbance that occurred around 2 billion years ago. In terms of volcanic features, Pluto has two peak towers overlooking the planet's surface. The first of these two peaks is a mountainous feature called Wright Mons. It measures 150 kilometers wide and bulges out to 5 kilometers above the surface, as well as a central depression of around 50 kilometers. The second feature, named Picard Mons, has a diameter of around 225 kilometers and a height of nearly 7 kilometers. Both features are located on the southwest edge of the Sputnik Planitia ice sheet. This iconic sheet features a distinctive ancient impact basin that measures 1,000 kilometers. It comes with other extra perks like fold and rises that look like wrinkles over a smooth cover of ice. These regions also consist of small volcanic domes which sometimes merge into bigger domes. In addition, the images captured by New Horizons show evidence that Pluto has numerous heat sources that were created by multiple eruption sites. As part of the robotic expedition, scientists also discovered that the surface material of this region is made of water ice and not nitrogen or methane ice as previously thought. Now this discovery gets even more interesting because it tells us something about the possibility of cryovolcanoes on Pluto. But what exactly does that mean? Well, you know how volcanoes on Earth erupt and release hot lava? Cryovolcanoes are a bit like that, but instead of hot lava, they erupt with something cold, like icy slush. However, we know from experience that for a volcano to be active and erupt, it needs a constant source of heat. On Earth, volcanoes get their heat from a special process happening deep inside our planet called radioactive decay. But in some cases, they could also get their heat from the gravitational forces caused by big objects pulling on them. However, these conditions are not possible on Pluto, because it does not have any strong neighbors that can generate enough gravitational force to keep the interior warm. Also, the rocky elements that make up the core of the planet are not sufficient to generate heat from radioactivity. So where does the heat sources on Pluto get their warmth from? After considering all of the possibilities, scientists concluded that heat sources are powered by the leftover heat that was trapped in a deep water ocean underneath the planet's icy crust. Critically, this heat reservoir is believed to have been in existence since around 4.5 billion years ago when it was formed. This strange heat deposit are not exclusive to Pluto alone. They can also be found in other regions of our solar system, including on Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa. However, Pluto remains the only place in the entire solar system where heaps of icy volcanoes can be found spreading out in a field and merging to recycle an icy surface. The discoveries made by the New Horizons spacecraft are absolutely incredible, especially considering that it only observed the dwarf planet for just one day. Scientists will definitely be hoping that this advanced spacecraft will send more discoveries our way before it retires in 2025.